I'm Kakra, and I'm doing a quick guide on skill trees and uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The first thing you should note is that this is like week one. The game came out one week ago as of writing this. So this may be outdated. We might come out with new tech, that sort of thing. Okay. So this guide is mostly going to be victim uh, favored, but you can also apply this to family. It's, it's general info. So some basics of the basics. Uh, when you go to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you go to customization and then you can click on the character, you can click on skill tree, load out, so you can customize it here. You can also do it in the lobby in the game. For the most part, you can respec whenever you want when you're not in a match. Uh, abilities are shared amongst loadouts. So what I mean by that is, let's say I have Julie, because she's level 3 for me. Um, if I go right, right, middle, even if I switch my loadouts, they will all be right, right, middle. I cannot change this. It is This is like a... Once you respec, you can change it, but once you lock it in, it's locked in for all your loadouts, okay? Um, you cannot reset your tree in between loadouts. So let's say I go down middle, and on my next loadout I want to go down the right. I can't do that. It, it Like, I am locked into this middle route until I respec, okay? So I can't have, you know, left tree and a right tree for my loadout too, and a, you know, a middle tree for my loadout right No, it has to be the same route. And lastly, your tree is always the same, except for three random perks. So there's like 30 static skill nodes. So Choose Flight will always be here. Sneaky Pete will always be here. Tourniquet will always be here. Okay, these, these do not change between respects besides three random nodes that you can get. Okay, so let's say you're, you know, you're a brand new player, you've played five, six matches, you're running the default skills, and you're like, okay, what do I do? This is a little bit too overwhelming. What I would do is I would consult a list. So I have a tier list right here. And the the power of this is I can say, okay, these people say flight is really good. And on my uh, Julie character, choose flight is right here at the beginning. So I'm just going to beeline this, and then I'm going to choose a bunch of attribute points around it, and I'm going to be good with that. Uh, you will level to, you'll be able to get one level 10 pretty quickly. After that, experience becomes pretty bad, but your first level 10 is not that bad at all. So I would just, for now, choose, get, get a really good perk. I'll link the tier list below. So get your really good perk, and then just get attribute points around it. Don't think about it too hard. Just focus more on, you know, learning the escapes, learning the map other stuff okay that said once you hit around account level eight or seven or eight you should have around 50 skill points to spend and that's when you can start planning your loadout for the record i did not plan any loadouts out for a very long time probably like 10 hours into the game i was mostly using the default perks it makes a really big difference but you have so you can improve in so many other ways than just your loadouts okay so let's say you get to level 10 and you want to actually make a build. So how do you actually make a build? First of all, what you do is you consult the tier list again and you say, okay, I really, really want choose flight right here. Okay, I I need choose flight to live. I can't play without it. So on the right side, you'll see, oh, there's characters and it says for Connie, choose flight is on the mid left. Okay, so let's say I'm gonna go mid left then. That's my plan. So I am going to start picking perks that will bring me to this choose flight node over here. What can I grab on the way? Well, according to the list, oh, it says that, let's just take uh, this for example. I really want parting gift as well. Oh, but parting gift is to the right side. I will never be able to pick that. Okay, so you, you just want to find, oh, what's mid left and what's random and what can I fit inside of my build? So uh, when I did that, I found out that the perks I really want are Choose Flight and Bomb Squad. So I have Bomb Squad right here on the mid, and I have Choose Flight up here on the mid left. Um, you can also, you know, say, oh, I also really want Efficient Grappler. I also really want Agitator. You know, you, you can just choose a few perks that you really, really want, and then start planning your route on that. So, like I mentioned, I chose Choose Flight and Bomb Squad. The next step is you have a bunch of random perks. Like I said, you get three random perks. So what you can do is, I'm pulling up the tier list again. So for Connie, let's say, oh, I really want Slippery. This is random. I can get this. 
or oh this is random what is this jump start okay i want that what is this radar detector sure i want that it's random you can grab it okay so now that you know okay i really want that collection of five perks this is where the tedious part comes in okay so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to respect your tree and just keep going until you get your perk load out so I wanted Slippery and Jumpstart for my random node, and this is where the random node is. I didn't get it, I'm resetting. You're going to want to just keep doing this until you get the ones you want. Um, it really de How bad this is really, really depends on how picky you are. So for Connie, I only really want two out of three, so it's really not that bad. For my Julie, I had three exact perks that I wanted, and this took me about 30 minutes to respect. It was a nightmare. So I'm just going to keep doing this until I get one of them and then, yeah, I'll, I'll spare you. Um, one thing that you might want to know about this is it will take a long time and it's very slow and very boring, but you can use cheat engine and use the speed up tool. Just don't use it in a match, but for skill tree, I don't think it matters. Yeah. So I still haven't gotten it. It's five resets. Still haven't gotten one of them. Reset again. Still haven't gotten it. Okay, just getting all of it. I'll do one more reset. Okay, so I'll, I'll do that later. But yeah, you're gonna just want to keep resetting until you get the random perks that you want, and then you fill out the rest of the tree. Still haven't gotten it. So uh, one. Last thing that you should know before I end this guide is that not all skill trees are equal. So what I mean by that is when you're looking at the tree, uh, a lot of the times you'll be able to go left or go right. And sometimes the amount of skills that you get are not equal. So you'll look at this and it'll be like, okay, if I go left, I'll get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 skill points. But if I go right, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You know, so sometimes... Uh, the amount of attribute points you get is actually kind of imbalanced. So if it doesn't matter which route you go, let's say I want to choose fight, right? So it doesn't matter if I go left or right. You want to pick the one with more attribute points. Just be aware of that. Okay. Um, lastly, when you're doing your loadout, uh, just one small tip I have. I found that stealth over 42 is kind of worthless. So just get to 42 stealth, get a bunch of proficiency if you need to. You know, it, it all depends on your build, but... I wouldn't recommend over 40 to yourself. Okay, that's all. Thanks.